All right, thank you so much for sticking with us. We continue with this uh, conversation. This is still Good Morning Kenya. My name is Ram Aguko. And uh, before we delve uh, deeper into our first interview of the day, let's take a look at our papers. Let's take a look at our dailies, still in the headlines. And with me, I have a copy of the Standard Newspaper, the Star Newspaper, and the people daily let's take a look at the front page of the standard newspaper and uh, on the front page of the standard ruto's new spy master that's on the front page ruto's new spy master on this particular end there on the top right corner of this particular paper is the image of the nis uh, uh, director general nominee that is none other than nurdin haji and uh, insert we have on this uh, 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 on the insert picture here a photo of uh, the ch uh, outgoing chief major general retired philip cameru and uh, the dpp nurdin haji uh, an insider in uhuru's courtier of uh, trusted allies who quietly transitioned into ruto's camp ahead of uh, the last year's poll lands the national intelligence service boss job replacing philip cameru who is retiring after serving two good terms also on the front page of the standard the kemsa mess is featured or you have a day after president william ruto sent ma managers and board members packing we reveal how the st the scandal uh, ridden authority has paid millions of shillings to more than 350 employees who were locked out of office in the uhuru era purge 19 months ago that is what is written on the front page of the standard newspaper and details in, into the kemsa mess have been highlighted where we have the uh, number of uh, the other amount of the bungled mosquito nets tender which saw public health ps dr josephine buru sent parking that amount was coming to 3.7 billion kenya shillings now the government is merely reacting to uh, a, a major issue at Kemsa. That's according to Raila Odinga, who has been quoted there, that the government is uh, merely reacting to a major issue at Kemsa. I believe that, in quoting Raila Odinga, I believe that this is not the only scandal reported in the authority. I anticipate that we will witness more revelations in uh, this government. End of quote. Of course, that's on the front page of the standard. Still, uh, matters concerning Shakahola have been featured there. Grave diggers' horror account of Shakahola death fills the exhumation team, whose members earn 1,000 shillings per day to retrieve bodies from uh, shallow uh, cult graves, say that the job drains them physically, emotionally and spiritually that's the shakahola uh, uh, massacre that is on the front page of the standard let's do away with that and go to the star on the front page the splash is prominent politician behind kemsa tender what is this all about the tender was for supply of treated mosquito nets to prevent malaria among millions of uh, the poor also on the front page a plot hatched to grab the deal a few months after Kenya Kwanzaa took power. That is uh, on the Kemsa issue. Transoya governor, that is Natembea, slashes daily levies by half. Transoya governor Natembea slashes daily levies by half. That is still on the front page of the star. Also, new boss, also featured in this particular paper, DPP Nurdin Hajj to replace Philip Kameru as his director general. That is on the front page of the star. Let's do away with that. And finally, let's move to the splash of the people daily. 17 billion Kenya shilling promise for civil servants. Uh, you are civil servant. Well, this conversation is about you. Well, the Treasury has asked members of parliament to approve extra money to pay higher salaries for public sector workers. Uh, if approved, 
the money will be given to the SRC, which will uh, then spend it on collective bargaining agreements. And uh, uh, by the SRC, remember we are referring to the Salaries and Remuneration Commission. That is on the front page of the People Daily. Also, Haji has been featured here. We have Haji nominated to head intelligence. And also still, another 10 bodies found in Shakahola, front page of the People Daily. Also at the bottom, how education ministry plans to spend its 135 billion Kenya shillings. That is on the front page of the People Daily. A bulk of money will be used to pay salaries and ensure that learners who see the national examinations transition to the next level. The permanent secretary, Belio Kipsang, tells MPs that uh, some of the money will also be used to increase access to learning for children with special needs. But there are about one million learners in secondary school who will miss out completely. Also, lastly, at the bottom of this particular paper here, end of an era. Now, for those who have been uh, observant, and of course, you know of a particular vehicle within Nairobi County. Picture that particular vehicle that has a windscreen that has um, wire mesh. Yeah? I know you know that vehicle for Nairobi County. Well, there's, it's an end of an era as uh, the sun sets on the Kanjo tracks. Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja has uh, uh, given a release on uh, new trucks. And here we're looking at the old Rikari and Rusty Nairobi City County pickup trucks that have uh, been there. And of course, hawkers know this truck better. Uh, the city resident since, 19, the, since the 1980s, it has been there. They have finally been decommissioned. And now we are looking forward to seeing new ones coming into the city. The era of dilapidated, battered old vans came to a close yesterday with the commissioning of a new fleet of 17 vehicles. Well, look around for that particular vehicle when next you come to the CBD. Well, that brings us to the end of uh, what is in the headlines.